Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today I wanted to do a little wardrobe tour for you. So I've done a couple of these videos already. I've shown you my shoe collection, my handbag collection, and today I wanted to walk you through my autumn and winter outerwear collection. So this is everything that I include in my autumn and winter capsule wardrobe, along with a couple of pieces that are in my year-round wardrobe. So I thought I'd just show you each piece, do a little try-on, and then explain how it fits into my capsule wardrobe. Also, I want to mention that outerwear is like my one weakness. I have a lot of outerwear, especially considering the fact that I lived in San Diego for the past few years where I definitely did not need a jacket most of the year. And it's one area in my capsule wardrobe that I'm really bad at editing down because I just really like every piece that I own so much that I don't really feel the need to get rid of any of it, which I think is fine. We all have our things. Some people have shoes, some people have t-shirts. I don't know, whatever it is. So I just sort of accepted the fact that I am someone who will own a lot of outerwear and I do keep most of this in storage in the spring and summer so that it's not taking up precious closet space. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first piece that I wanted to mention is this denim jacket. This is from Levi's and I've had it for several years now. This is a size large, but as you can tell, it's quite a small like fitted style of a denim jacket. I know there's a lot of oversized fit jackets that are really popular popular right now. But I like this one because it's just super classic and as someone who kind of lives in denim year round, having a denim jacket can be a nice way to switch things up sometimes if I want to wear a dark bottom or like black pants or white pants. I like to throw this on as a kind of contrast. And this is just such a classic piece. I feel like you probably already have a denim jacket in your closet if it's something that you wear. If not, don't feel like you need to have one. <laughs> For me, I just personally really love a denim jacket. I used to have another jacket that was a little bit larger of a fit. It was actually a thrifted piece that I found in like a Goodwill and it was one of the most amazing denim jackets. It had like a faux Sherpa lining at least on the collar and I just really loved it but I actually lost it a few years ago been devastated by that but luckily I still have this trusty classic denim jacket so you've probably seen this in a lot of my videos it's just your basic mid wash style a pretty simple piece but I just really love it and I know this is something that I'll have in my closet for a really long time because it's just so classic and timeless the next piece that I have here is actually a newer edition so this is what you would call possibly like an army or utility style jacket. I don't know the exact name for it. This one is from Madewell and I actually received this as a secret Santa gift one year and like wow this is such a nice gift to receive from someone but uh, I have mine in a size small. I've worn this in a few other styling videos and a few of you have commented saying that you have this jacket too and that you love it and I definitely see why and I know this is a piece that a lot of people will have something similar to in their closet but I never really considered myself someone who would wear this style of jacket and like I said it was a gift but I'm really happy that I received it because it's one of those things where you wouldn't have picked it out for yourself but then when you try it on you really like it and for me that was definitely the case it really opened up some like styling ideas so I really love this piece and I think that it just adds a lot to my capsule wardrobe because it's kind of different from anything else I own. I also don't have any like outerwear or I think I have one pair of pants in this color but apart from that I don't have anything in this really lovely like foresty kind of olivey green color. This one also has a little drawstring on the back so you can cinch it in at the waist which is a really nice feature. And yeah, it's just like your basic utility style jacket. It has lots of pockets and buttons and a zipper and little s a snap closing. Um, and the collar on this is really nice too. It kind of comes up around your neck. I don't know what you would call that style of a collar actually now that I'm thinking about it. Um, but I usually just wear it open like this. And I actually have this as part of my year-round wardrobe, but I really like wearing it a lot in spring and summer like throwing this on over a floaty floral dress. I think it's a really cool look and kind of softens up this very utilitarian style of a jacket. So it's a really fun layering piece. It's a fun styling piece and something I am so happy to have. Next up is a piece that I've been wearing a lot lately because it is cold here and I'm inside a lot. So this has really come in handy. If you watched my Alaska vlogs, you know that I bought this in preparation for that trip. I'm so happy I did. I've worn this like so much since I got it. My cost per wear just in the past few months has gone down to like 
pennies, I'm sure. Um, but this is called the Better Sweater Jacket. So Patagonia makes a better sweater, which is basically this, but just the top zip. And then they make it in a jacket version, which personally I preferred this full zip opening jacket. Um, I got mine in this lovely like speckled grey color which is really nice and yeah this is like a casual and kind of sporty piece but it's one of those pieces that's just like you need practical clothing sometimes as hard as it is for me to remember that and to believe that it's true I do need some practical clothing in my wardrobe and this piece is definitely like practical but also pretty stylish on its own in my opinion so I got mine in a size medium it has this very nice little side arm zip tiny little pocket. I don't know what this is actually for because it's too small for a phone. Maybe it's for like your wallet or keys or something when you're exercising. So yeah, it's not the most exciting piece, but it is an important part of my outerwear collection. So I thought I'd just mention that if any of you are looking for a more practical piece like this, this is definitely worth the money and super lightweight, really warm, has like inside pockets and stuff. It's just one of those pieces that's like, you know, if I'm not sure about the weather, I'll bring this one with me. And next up, I have this piece, which is a newer addition to my autumn and winter wardrobe. This is a wool shirt jacket from Trad Lens. So it does count as a jacket according to their website. It is pretty bulky as a shirt so I do typically wear it as outerwear or as a layering piece. I have mine in a size small. If you're looking at adding this piece to your own wardrobe I would suggest maybe sizing up one if you're planning to use it as outerwear. Mine still works over like thin knit sweaters like the one I'm wearing but if I were to wear a heavier sweater it might be a bit tight in the arms. So just a little suggestion for you but other than that I think it's beautiful it's not like anything else that I have in my wardrobe. I love how structured it is in the collar. It's a very like workwear style jacket and it has a beautiful drape to it. This is a wool blend but it is very soft if you're just wearing it on its own. I usually wear it with like like I said a thin knit or like a t-shirt under it and it has like a nice big oversized fit to it kind of loose it's just a beautiful piece it's actually inspired by classic like menswear worker style shirts and I think it's really flattering on especially when worn as outerwear so if you're looking for a jacket that is also ethically made then I cannot recommend this one enough. I just think this is such a lovely piece and something that is classic looking enough where it's not going to be out of style next year. It's still like a beautifully made wool shirt at the end of the day. I will still have this piece in my closet because it can be worn a lot of different ways. Very versatile and something that I just absolutely love. Next up is this oversized wool blazer. This one is from Everlane. Um, if you are interested in sustainable fashion, you've probably seen a lot of people wearing this. This is a piece that I held off buying new for quite a while. I was looking for one second hand and I finally found one on Poshmark after I'd say about like close to a year of looking for it second hand. And I'm really happy that I waited too because my intentions behind buying it second hand other than the fact that it's just great and I try to buy second hand first when I can. but. I am not used to wearing a blazer. This is a very new style to my wardrobe that I was not used to styling. And in the past when I've tried blazers out, I was just always really iffy about the style. And while my style is very androgynous, I think this was like that one type of piece that always just kind of intimidated me a lot because it is very androgynous. And so I think it just took time finding the right fit. I really love this one because it is an oversized fit which gives it that vintage feel but it's really nicely fitted in like the shoulders so it's flattering in the right places for me. I feel like it doesn't just swallow me up. The fit of this is really beautiful. It's like this gray and black herringbone pattern um, but from far away it looks like a dark gray. I got mine in a size 4 so I'd say this fits true to size um, especially if you're looking for that oversized fit although I've read like tons of reviews on this and a lot of people who wear smaller sizes said that they needed to size down because it is quite oversized. Yeah but I'm really happy with this piece now that I have it and it is the only blazer in my collection but to be honest I feel like it's the only blazer I, I really need in my capsule wardrobe so that's that. Next up we have the leather jacket section. So I have two leather jackets. This is the first one that I got actually several years ago. So I've been wearing faux leather jackets since high school. I just love them. 
When I got my first leather jacket and tried it on, it was definitely in that moment in time where they were very, very popular and had been for quite some time. I think it was around 2009. But that was one of the pieces that I first found where I was like, this is me through and through. It was a big turning point in my personal style. So I've always had a leather jacket in my wardrobe and it's a very important part of my capsule wardrobe and hopefully will be a part of it for years to come. So this is one that I picked up. It's actually a real leather jacket. It's originally from Zara and I picked this up at a Buffalo Exchange for about $50. I think the quality is really good. This one, the style of this jacket is so perfect to me too. So it does have metal hardware and it has these nice lapels that aren't too big. So this jacket itself is quite fitted. I actually got this in a size small and I think if I had bought this more recently, I would have sized up to a medium. This is something that I wear a lot with very fitted thin things underneath and something that feels a little bit tight when I put it over knitwear, which is why I would probably size up now. But this piece is just so versatile and I love styling it. It just always looks so sleek. I mean, having bought this secondhand, it was in very good condition, but even after, you know, four years of regular use, it's still in great condition. And I just love, like, the placement of the zippers, and it's a really soft, buttery leather, too. I just always feel very, like, sleek and put together and quite powerful in this jacket, too. So I really love this one. But after wearing this for several years and it being the only leather jacket in my capsule wardrobe, I did realize that because I wear them so often, I felt that there was a place in my wardrobe for one that is more oversized of a fit. So, which leads me to my next piece. So this is a jacket that I bought just a couple months ago, I believe, two or three months ago. This is from a French brand called Maj. I know I mispronounced it in another video, so thank you for correcting me, commenters. Um, and this I actually bought secondhand from ThreadUp, which they have some real gems. If you're looking for a secondhand leather jacket, definitely check out ThreadUp. I did have to scroll through like 20 pages, but I did find this gem in there. This is a size 1, which I believe is equivalent to a small, but because of the oversized style, it fits me really comfortably. It's really similar to the other one, other than the fact that it's longer, it's wider here, and slightly wider in the sleeves, and it's kind of similar to the blazer that I showed you because it is oversized, but it's still fit for a size small, so it's fitted in the right places. And I don't even mind uh, quite a big, bulky, oversized looking leather jacket because I really like the style of that. But I think long term this is a better idea because it is like flattering and fitted in the right places. So this is also genuine leather and I just highly suggest buying a piece like this secondhand. You can check Poshmark, ThreadUp, Depop, and I think it's best to just search for a specific brand. So find a brand that you like, find even a style of jacket that you like, and then go in and search for it secondhand. So this one I've been wearing more in the winter because I can pair it over knitwear heavier knitwear which is just a game changer for me because I really do love styling a leather jacket and now I have one that works with pretty much everything in my wardrobe which is very exciting. I just love all of the details of my other jacket. I just needed the sizing to be a little bit bigger and looser and I will say that the leather on this jacket is actually thinner. It is just as soft as my other one, but the leather itself feels a bit thinner, which I'm not really sure why that is. It's probably just a difference in how Maj and Zara make their jackets. Um, stylistically, it doesn't really make that much of a difference in my opinion. And I guess that is a little bit better for what I'm wearing this jacket with, which is heavier knitwear, so it doesn't feel as big and bulky on top. This piece, I was so excited to share with you guys because I feel like this is what makes these collection videos special is when you have pieces that have like a history and it's really fun to be able to share the story behind my clothing with you guys. So this is a piece that I've had probably the longest of anything in my capsule wardrobe. This is a pea coat. It is from the boys section of Old Navy. It is a size 14 extra large. This belonged to my little brother when he was very young. He's now in his 20s. He wore it for years and years and eventually grew out of it because it's tiny. And my mom ended up holding on to it because it actually fits really well for her size and for me too. Obviously, the quality is pretty great on this because it's held up all of these years from 
lots and lots of use i mean i used to wear this like every single day like this was my winter coat like in high school i think in college even yeah i just love this piece like it's a really classic navy pea coat it's double breasted has these cute little plastic buttons on them with little like anchors <laughs> this is just something that i'm going to hold on to a long time because it is very sentimental and this is a wool blend jacket it is made from 70 percent recycled wool which is really cool i actually didn't know that until just now and i think this is the type of piece that you could easily find in a thrift store if you're looking for fit you know look in other sections and now moving on this is a piece that i have been wearing a lot lately and this was perfect for when i lived in the west coast because it is an unlined kind of duster style jacket so it's very lightweight it's thin but it's also very warm so this is what i wore a whole lot in that kind of milder winter climate but i love this piece for so many reasons first of all the color this is just like the perfect color of a coat to me it's a color of a coat that i've been obsessed with for a couple years now and i love the style of this coat it's really flattering it just drapes really nicely it's a loose kind of billowy style so it looks great draped over lots of different things like it looks really nice with a silk midi skirt or with like a heavier knit underneath and denim it's also a nice length it comes down to about i would say like thigh length i'm just of like average height too so i don't really know why i struggle so much to find longer coats yeah and it has one button in the front and i really like this kind of long lapel or like collar to it it's a very like small kind of collar so i actually like wearing this when i'm wearing something with a kind of stronger more structured collar underneath it's a nice balance like it doesn't look like i'm wearing something with two collars it's a very simple and minimal coat but it just works really well with so many things in my wardrobe which is why I get so much use out of it and I believe this is called a cocoon coat so there are other like sustainable and ethical brands that do coats like this it's a very classic style of coat I know that there's a lot of pieces like this secondhand too like Zara and other fast fashion retailers do coats that are really similar to this like every season and I've already worn it a ton this year. This is the coat that I've been reaching for a lot when I go out. Now I'm going to move on to trench coat styles. The first is this beautiful black vinyl trench coat. This is from a collaboration between Alexa Chung and M&S which is a British fashion retailer. This piece I was obsessed with when it first came out which I think was in like I want to say like 2014 or somewhere around then and I didn't get it I didn't even know how to get it how to order it it probably sold out but it was a coat that I just never stopped thinking about so eventually I decided to like take up my search again find it secondhand and I looked for a while I want to say about a year and finally it popped up one day in my size so this coat has a lot of sentimental value to me personally because I just loved it for so long and I just also love the look of a black vinyl trench coat it's something that I saw a lot more of this year it kind of had maybe a resurgence or something but I do think that as unique and kind of out there as this piece is I do think that a vinyl trench coat has its moment it has its kind of like classic appeal to me it's a very like 60s and 70s style of jacket and so maybe it's not classic in the typical sense of the word but it does have a kind of like vintage retro feel to it that makes it feel more classic to me it makes a lot of noise when I walk around in it but it's just so cool I love it it is a statement piece but I feel like the rest of my wardrobe is so neutral and casual looking that I can kind of dress things up and add a uniqueness to my outfits by having statement not wear like this so that is kind of the reasoning behind why this is in my capsule wardrobe and also I just think that this type of a piece just goes to show that a capsule wardrobe does not have to look one way for everyone. It's more about personal style and finding pieces that really speak to you and having pieces that are important to you and that you know you'll wear for a long time. So yeah, that's going to look different for everyone. And for me, this makes total sense hanging in my autumn and winter capsule wardrobe. Next up is another secondhand trench coat. This one is from originally from Topshop, but I actually got this on um, Poshmark. This is a plaid trench coat and it has like a pretty classic style to it. It's double breasted, it has the nice little cuffs on the sleeve and it does have 
a belt to it too that cinches. I just keep it open though most of the time. This one is a size 4 and this has like the perfect kind of drape to it. It's it's not oversized but it is like a looser fit so it works a lot with outerwear underneath. And I don't really love prints that much in my wardrobe but I think because of how classic this print is, it has a kind of blue, black, and beige in it. It has like a warm and cool tone to it, so it works with a lot of the other neutrals in my wardrobe. This is another piece that I looked for secondhand for a really long time before I found it. I feel like I play the long game when it comes to shopping, where I just get this piece stuck in my mind and think about how perfectly it will work in my wardrobe, and then I just search for it like non-stop until I find it basically <laughs> that's what happens so I was so happy when I finally picked this up and yeah another tip I buy a lot of my outerwear secondhand during the spring and summer I think because people are like clearing out their wardrobes it's out of season so that might be a good time to find things if you're looking for something really specific if you follow me on Instagram you'll see that I wear this a whole lot and it's just a really fun piece to style I do consider this kind of a statement piece of outerwear in at least in my closet because of the print, but I just think that it adds a lot of interest to a lot of my outfits. The last trench coat that I want to mention is a newer purchase. This is the Cezanne Scott Trench. It was one of my fall capsule wardrobe purchases of this year. After having these really fun trench coats in my wardrobe, I realized that I'd love to have just a really classic khaki trench. And I saw this one from Cezanne last year, I believe, and really loved it, loved how classic it was, loved the style of it, the details and everything. But I was like, I'm not sure if I want to invest that much in this kind of piece. And so I essentially looked for a lot of other options secondhand. I looked at other ethical and sustainable brands and I just ended up coming back to this one. I think a trench coat is something that you have to be really particular about because there's lots of different styles to them. So just whatever kind of details of the trench coat appeal to you the most is what you should look for. But I love the tortoiseshell buttons, double-breasted tortoiseshell buttons, these nice big lapels. They're not like super oversized, but they are quite pronounced, I would say. I love this little button detail on the shoulder. I think that's beautiful. And I really love a cuff on the sleeve too. I really like the length of this too. It hits around my knees, I want to say. I love the look of those really long, oversized trench coats. But for me, because the trench coat is kind of a dressier piece than I'm used to wearing, I didn't want something too huge and oversized so that I feel like Inspector Gadget. So I do love the length of this one and I think it's a really classic length and classic style. So this piece was well worth the investment in my opinion because of how classic the fit is and I can just, I'll have this for a really long time. And the last piece I want to mention in this video is this camel coat. This one is from Topshop. I bought it secondhand. I want to say from Poshmark and I'm just really into those robe style coats like cinching them at the waist. So this is the heaviest coat that I own. This is for when we're deep into winter. So this is very warm and just super soft and I think the texture is what really makes it for me like having this this really soft fuzzy kind of texture just adds a nice element to my outfits it's a really simple style it has these like long lapels and it's a really kind of loose oversized fit I would say this I'm actually wearing in a US 6 so I did go up a size but I really wanted like a big big warm oversized winter coat like this so I think that this fit really makes sense for me I do think it's different enough from this cocoon coat because it's so much heavier so I tend to wear this more like in late winter and it keeps me very warm and polished looking so I really love this piece so that is all for this video I really hope you enjoyed seeing inside my winter coat collection if you have any other ideas for videos that you'd like to see it let me know in the comments as always if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one